Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to my Unity 3D Editor tutorial series. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at using the Animation Editor which can be useful for setting up cutscenes or animating simple objects inside of Unity. However, I would recommend that you don't try to use it for everything because it's not meant for that, but it does make for a decent uh, cutscene editor. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a plane or a cube and we need to make a floor. So we're going to go into game object, create other cube and position it at 0, 0, 0 and I'm going to adjust the scale to 25, 0 0.1, 25 and then I'm just going to want to throw one of the random materials uh, that I already have or any of the textures if you have the default texture pack I gave you in the first tutorial. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a light that's going to go from over here all the way over here and we're going to animate the color so that it gradually shifts as it goes and if you have pro you can do the next step but to make it look a little bit nicer I'm actually going to add a cylinder position it to 0, 0 and set the scale to 2 and I'm going to add in some cylinders so our light can cast shadows and actually you know, be able to see and use those shadows. Because not only can you animate the color, you can also animate the shadows, which is something we will take a look at. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to create a directional light. I'm gonna position the rotation to 45, 45, and it doesn't matter where this one is, you can put it at zero, zero if it helps and I'm going to adjust the intensity to 0 0.3 this is just to give some nice ambient lighting alright now to actually add in the light we're going to use I'm going to add in our point light and I'm going to put this one at 0 0 0 and then raise it up I'm going to set the shadow type to soft shadows and if you get an error about needing to be in deferred rendering go to edit project settings player and then either of these tabs will work go to other settings and check it to deferred all right. Now, our directional light might be a little bit too bright. I'm gonna set it to 0 0.2. Mm, no, let's try one actually. There we go. Oops. 0 0.1. I'm gonna change the color to a bit duller of a gray. All right. So it adds just a little bit of light. All right. Now, if we move it, we can see that because obviously we're casting dynamic lighting. Uh, sorry, dynamic shadows. We can see that based on the shadow, the light position is the shadows change. But what we're going to do is we're going to slowly adjust the strength of the shadow so that not only when it gets over here is the color different, but the shadow will be fainter. All right, so I'm going to set it back to here. And then I'm just going to click anywhere right here, and then you'll get this little pop up. And I'm going to call it light animation. I'm going to hit save. And as you can see, it's ready to record. And the animation was automatically attached to our selected game object. Now I'll make sure this red slider here is at zero, which is frame zero. And we're gonna increment this every five seconds. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the transform. Now you could lock it to a specific axis by selecting this and then adding a key. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna add a key for everything. Alright, then we're gonna, gonna roll it up to five seconds, which is 300 frames. And then we're gonna move it to about the middle. And then we are going to adjust this all the way up to the 600. And you can type it in if you can't get it perfect. Alright, and then I'm just gonna move it up so it stops right about there. Alright, now if we were to hit play, you could see our light just goes up and on across. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to zero, 0, and we'll just scroll down here. We will select our light. We will add a new keyframe, and we can leave this one at default. Then we'll go to the 5 second mark, which is 300. And we will adjust, let's see, let's go to, ah, let's just go to red. And then let's adjust the Let's cut the shadow strength to 0 0.5. Oops, sorry about that. And then we'll add a keyframe. 
All right, now we'll go to the 10 second mark. And we'll let's set this to a green. All right, and we'll just completely and early get rid of the shadow strength altogether. And make sure to add a keyframe. Okay, now we'll just roll it back and we'll just play it. And we'll go down so we can see it a little bit better. And as you can see, the shadow strength just completely and utterly dies off here. And you can't see the shadow anymore. All right. So that is the basics to the editor. Now, as you can see, you can adjust everything from the range to the spot angle. And as it plays, you can also see the values changing as well in the editor. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, um, check the description and stop by the forum or the IRC or the Unity 3D forums. Very helpful over there as well. And if you make anything cool with the animation editor, uh, please send it to me because I do actually enjoy seeing that kind of stuff when you guys do send it to me. As well, uh, follow me on Twitter. If you'd like to keep up to date with when the newest tutorial is coming, all right. Thank you, and see you guys in the next tutorial.